Oh, we got some new beasts on the block. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kang Toys Da Serious. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Now, again, this is a, a two pack here with King Lion, so we've seen this box already, but we'll just give it a quick run through again. Nice images there, nice illustrations of both characters. Names, names, names. Games, obligatory product shots, actually it's more artwork, but still things, stuff on the bottom, nothing, warning, don't eat anything in this box, all that good stuff, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with the Sirius in both of his modes, and on the back, rundown of weapons, as well as tech specs, if that interests you, hooray for cards. Then moving right along, here we have the Sirius, and this is the next component of Kang Toys Thunder King. They're Predic King, and this is their take on Predic King's foot. That's that's what he is. He's 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 the foot. They decided to give these elements of Predic King their own transformable robot modes, and that's cool. I can appreciate it. I can appreciate them, you know, creating their new characters for this team. So here we have the Sirius in robot mode. He is packed in robot mode, and I'm not totally sure if that's how you're supposed to pronounce his name. I don't know. He has no real name other than Preda Foot. I don't know, but yeah, yeah he's... The foot. He's the foot. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at his Preda crotch, but at his Preda noggin. There's the Preda noggin. You can see. Nicely done head sculpt here. He's got kind of a jacked up eye. As you can see, got like a scar going down there and everything. But done in a nice gunmetal gray with the metallic red. And the whole body is done in a gunmetal gray and silver and red looks really good you got the nice tampograph details in there as well and of course spiky that's pretty much all of these dudes are well no looks really nice really nice design for being an original design i think they did it quite quite well and you got the nice silvers and gunmetal grays there got the white tampos some red tampos as well his big old feet and moving up the back, you can see this is the uh, little combiner uh, connection here. You got the wolf head just kind of hanging out back there. Some more spiky stuff. But overall, a pretty cool looking design. And now articulation wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint. So you do have your wiggly waggly. You can look up, do total squirrel. Can look down. Head can do a full 360. The arms can do a full. 360, they can move in and out. A little squeaky, but they can. Uh, the arm can also move independently of the shoulder. You can move that forward and back. Again, it's squeaky, but it can move. Um, you have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. Uh, the wrist can rotate. The hands can also open and close. Um, you have waist rotation. Uh, you can move these panels out of the way to accommodate the legs, legs. Can move forward that far, very squeaky. Back that far, also very squeaky. Before things start to get in the way, anyway. Oh, squeaky outward. You can do the full splits and then some. You have thigh rotation. You have pretty much a very good knee bend there, just due to transformation. Also, can bend the other way. You can break his leg if you want to. And the feet, um, they can move up a little bit, move down some. The feet are on the ball joint, but just due to kind of things and stuff around, can move up a little bit, can move down. You have rotation, and you have ankle tiltage, and you even have a uh, toe joint there. Now, as far as accessories go, he does include his blaster, which is also done in gunmetal gray and silver and red with some white tempos in there. A pretty nice looking blaster design and of course he can hold this in his hand it just plugs right in like so just be mindful of all the stuff that's around he can pew pew he can hold this straight there we go he can pew pew bang bang pew pew bang bang and all of that good stuff right there uh you do also get this strip here of a uh, self-adhesive 
little rubber pads and you remove these and these go on the wolf feet. So they go right here, one there, one there, and then you have one that goes right there and one that goes right there. And yet that just provides a, uh, a non-slip surface for the wolf mode. It also provides a non-slip surface for the combined mode. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with uh, Masterpiece side swipe, just so you can get a sense of the size of this dude with Masterpiece Megs, just so you can see how that works out. Then here is the Sirius with the rest of the team that we have so far, and uh, yeah, they look awesome together. So, so awesome. Loving the set so far, so there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So, to get him into wolf mode, uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, work on the arms here. So what we need to do is we need to open up this panel right here, and we have to do kind of a little bit of half transforming to half transform to half transform, which I'm not a fan of, but that's what we gotta do. So we have to bring the hand down, it's a quarter of a turn, like that, so we can bring this section down, and then we can bring the hand all the way up and around. Make sure the hand is all the way closed so it doesn't get caught up in anything. And swing that in, then we can close this up, and then you bring this up, tab that in, and there you go. You got one side all done, and second verse, guess what, just like the first. So open this up, bring this down, so you can bring this down, and then you can bring this all the way up and around. Tuck it in, put that into place, and you can close that up. And there you got the front wolfy legs all done. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna come up here to the head. So what we're gonna do is first, we can undo this back panel right here. It's just tab in. So just bring that back, just bring that up for now. So you can bring this back and open this panel up here, like so. And then you also wanna flip out this panel right up in here, like that. So what we wanna do now is we wanna take the head, we want to rock it all the way back on that ball joint, like that, and then rotate it 180, like so. Then we're going to bring this black panel that his head is on down, you wanna make sure that this panel also is down as well. So bring this down to about 90 degrees, like so. So what's going to happen here is we're going to close this up, and this tab right here is going to go into this little notch right there. So just line that up, and that should drop into place, and then you just kind of want to hold it there with your thumb, and then just bring this up, like so, and that should sit like that. And this is honestly kind of annoying because that black panel that his head is on, like that thing just moves freely. So you kind of have to hold things in place. But once you do that, you want to rotate the wolf head around, bring this all down. And now this tab here is going to go into the slot that's in the back of his head. Again, you just want to kind of hold things in place and just kind of drop it in. And it'll sit there like that. And that's how you want that looking. So we got that all done. So now we can move on to the lower body. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to do the same move we did with King Lion. We have to uh, shift his hips around. So again, the easiest way to do that, just bring the leg up, bring it back, rotate it back down. It's squeaky squeaky, but as you can see, that just widens the hips out. On the other side, bring that around, and squeaky, oh so squeaky, 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 there you go. I'm going to bring these back down, and we are good to go. So now, what we're going to do is, we're just going to bend the legs down here. At this hinge, you want this red piece coming down as well, so bring that down, and then bring the shin up, like that, then just bring the wolf paws down, flip up the robot mode toes, and you got that side all done. Same thing on the other side, second versus side to first, just rotate that down, rotate this up, bring that down, bring that up, and these bits you can do what you want, leave them back, bring them forward like cannons or whatever, you can do what you want there, as always it's yours, just play it however you wish, but there you go, there you have the serious 
in his beast mode. You can't get rubber pads on his feet. Has rubber pads, can't spin, cannot spin. But there is the Sirius in beast mode. And it's a cool looking wolf mode. I can work with it. I can definitely work with it. But there's one more thing we need to add. Uh, the wolf needs a tail. So we bring in the gun for that. And the gun will just slot in right back here. So just drop it down like so. And this section just untabs. It's on a ball joint. There you go. Now it's got a tail. Yay! Hooray for wolves with tails. Now articulation wise, the wolf head can look up. Well, if you go too far up, you'll untap things. So not too far up, but you can go down. It can rotate. You can also get side to side movements. Uh, the mouth can open like so. And you know, all the movement here in the limbs is pretty much what we've already seen. In and out, rotation, all that good stuff. The paws are on a ball joint. So you have ump, down, rotation, tiltage, hind legs again, have the same range of movement. You have some extra joints here to work with if you need to work with them. And the same thing with the back paws there. They're on a ball joint, up, down, rotation, tiltage. And the tail is on a ball joint. You can get some wiggly waggly going on there, side to side, up and down. And again, these little cannons, if they're cannons, whatever you want them to be, they can just rotate back and forth. So that is basically it for the wolf mode. So let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Let I know it can't spin, but I did it anyway. I don't know why. But All right, so to get him into combine mode, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to just untab the head. We're going to bring this panel down. What we're going to do with the head here, the robot mode head, is this is just going to rotate all the way down like that. Then we're going to take the wolf head, and this will just... Collapse down, keep collapsing, keep collapsing, and this will just tuck in right down in here like so. Then just bring this panel up, and that will just situate itself right there like that. So once we've done that, we have some other panels we have to move. Um, let's get these out of the way. So it helps if you rotate the waist just to uh, get things out of the way for you. So what you need to do here is bring the arms up because we need to bring out these panels here. So bring that out, and once you do that, you just kind of want to like follow it down so you don't hit anything. So just bring that down like so. Then you can do the same thing on the other side. Just rotate to that waist out of the way. And just kind of bring the arm out like that. And then just kind of flip this out. Flip that out, and then just kind of follow it and bring it forward like so. And you're going to do the same thing with uh, these chest panels here. So again, you just kind of want to rotate the waist, get things out of your way, flip out this panel, and again, just kind of follow it up, and that'll sit there like so. Again, just rotate things, get it out of your way, bring that panel up, and then just kind of rotate things as you're rotating things, follow it up, and there you go. You got things looking like that. So once we've done that, we can get these arms situated. So now we have to do the move things halfway to move things halfway. So you're going to open this up. And we're going to untap this. Just bring it down halfway so we can bring the fist up halfway. So we can bring this back the rest of the way. And then we can close this back up. Close that back up. Just tap that paw back in. And now that we've done that, the shoulder pad is just going to shift forward on a little double hinge there. And you're going to bring this up, and you have a tab that will go into this slot right up in here. So just bring that up. It's squeaky squeaky. Tab that in. And there we go. Then you just bring that down, and there is a tab slot connection right here. So just line that up. And... Tab that in right there, like so. And that's how you want that looking. And the second verse is, guess what, just like the first. So bring this up, bring that down halfway, so you can bring this up halfway, bring that back the rest of the way, and then flip this back in, and close that back up. Just tab all that in with the paw, shift that shoulder pad forward, bring all this up, plug it in, plug it in, like so. And bring it down and just tab it into that slot right there. And there we go. 
and we got that going. So now we can bring these panels down. There's a little tab here on the side that's going to go into this slot right there, right in there. So you just bring that down. Bring that down and tab it in. Oops. You stay. You stay in your home. There we go. Bring that down and tab that in like so. And there you go. That's how you want all that looking right up front. So now that we've done that, we can rotate these forward. And now we can work on the legs. So what we're going to do with the legs, we kind of move the tail up and out of the way. Cat hair definitely not included. It's not a cat. How dare you? We needed that in the last video, but no. Anyway. But uh, now, what we're going to do with the legs here. What we want to do is take this panel here, flip this up. There's a little tab slot connection for it. So just, again, you may have to kind of get things out of your way here. So just tab that in right there like so. This section here will just rock back. There's a little tab slot connection for it as well to hold that in place like that. Let me raise up so I have a little bit more room to work here. There we go. So once we've done that, uh, you want to bring the foot up here just to get it out of the way. Then you want to take the leg, rock it up, and just compress all this in like so. And it's going to sit like that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Second fast is just like the fast. So again, just kind of rock it down just so things can get out of your way. Lift this panel up. Just tab it in like so. Take this section here. Rock that back like so. And once you've done that, you just take all this, rock that up, collapse it in. Just bring that foot up. Get out of the way for now. And that's how you want those legs looking. So now, here's a tricky part. So now you have this T-tab right here, and this is going to go into this slot right here. This is kind of tricky to do, but it is doable. Just rock the legs up. You do want to use kind of all those hinges here at your disposal and just line it up. Again, it's doable. It's tricky, and this is it's not the most fun part of this transformation, but... It's doable. Just use those hinges. Make them work with you. Okay, there it is. There we go. It's a bit annoying. This is kind of the most annoying part of this transformation, but it's doable. So try to do this with the other leg again. Just use all these joints here to help you kind of line things up. Usually, when you get once you get the one side in, the other side pops in real easy. See, there you go. <laughs> and. That's how you want that looking right there. So now, what we're going to do is just make sure everything is straightened out here. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to rotate the foot around. You want to bring up the robot mode toe, and the toe has a tab that will go into this slot right there. So just line that up and just push that in. And you see all that should sit nice and flush like that. Same thing on the other side. Just bring that down. Rotate it. Make sure that robot moto is up. Then just tap that in like so. Get that sitting all nice and flush like. You bring that tail down for now. Get it all nice and exposing. Get everything nice and lined up. And there you go. There you have the serious in combine mode. Man, that sure is a foot. That sure is a foot. A good looking foot though. Hey, credit where it's due, it's a good looking foot. A good big beefy foot. Again, we're getting close here. We're getting lots of what you've already seen just in a different configuration. But still, a good looking foot. I can work with it. I can work with it. And the Sirius is, I forget which one. I, oh, yeah, the Sirius is the, uh, the left foot. So the left foot of the Predator King or Thunder King. But yeah, oh no. Nicely done, nicely done. Now there are three separate configurations for the foot mode. This is the first configuration right here. Another thing you can do if you want is you can slide this section of the gun off and drop it down over this front section here and use that ball joint to just swing this around and bring it down. And now you can have a, uh, a three-toed Predaking, if that's something you want. And, uh, you know, uh, 
Of the three configurations, these are the two that I'm debating over. I don't know if I want a two-toed Predaking as is tradition or a three-toed Predaking. Which do you think is better? Three toes, two toes, what do you think? Sound off in the comments. Are you team three-toe Predaking or are you team two-toe Predaking? I don't know. And the third configuration, um, I'm not going to do it because I, I personally don't like it myself, but the third configuration is, uh, I'll show you the picture in the instructions here. Basically, you just have the, uh, the wolf mode head just peeking out there. I personally don't like that. Don't like that at all. Nah, not feeling it. Not feeling it. For me, it's either the three toes or the two toes like this. This, for me, is just, yeah, one or the other. I think I'm leaning more towards... The traditional two-toed Predaking. I think that might be the way i go, but I don't know. Let's see what you guys think. What do you guys think? But anyway, for comparison, uh, here it is with the uh, G1 Predaking foot. Precious? I don't know. So there you go. So there you have the serious and uh, yeah, nicely done figure here. Um, I really appreciate that they're wanting to make all the combined mode bits, you know, fully functional, uh, you know, new members of this team. I think that's really cool. The robot mode looks good. The beast mode looks good. I like the way the wolf mode looks. Some nice coloration, nice paint work here. Transformation works pretty well. Again, there is some fiddle factor, not to a frustrating degree, but there is some fiddle factor. I'm um, getting those back legs hooked up for combined mode. That can get a bit annoying, but you know, it's doable. But overall, it's a solid robot. It's a solid wolf and it's a solid foot. So there you go. Now I picked this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for Kang Toys figures. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Thunder King playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the King of Toys, the Sirius. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. What the dog? Oh, great, we got dogs now too! Wave! Order puppy chow! What? Puppy chow!